Hey y'all. Welcome back to Jaden Small Engine Parent. I'm Jaden. Merry Christmas to y'all. Whole lot of United States and Hanukkah. Thanks for tuning in my video. So I got this Troy Built Power Wizard Honda 5 horsepower engine. Starts, dies when you put it on choke. So that's probably going to point towards a little bit of a probably fuel delivery issue. Also, if you look down here on this thing, got this special thing on here with the hose. I got this thing for 10 bucks. Get one of these wash ports off TV, pop it on there. You can just wash your with your hose. Very helpful. But, yep. Well, we're going to take the scarborough on clean today. I can show you guys how to do that, and let's get into this video. So since this is a Honda upward side shaft engine for the pump, you're going to want to pop off your air filter cover here and your air filter. This air filter looks pretty good. It's pretty old. Maybe back when the blue, when Honda used to make blue, we'll replace that with a better one. So there's just some 10 millimeter bolts to get off your dang air filter cover here. You want to take off your gas cap, check and see how much gas you got in the tank. Got a little bit in there. Nah, it's, it needs probably a fuel pump. So this engine probably has a mini fuel pump to get fuel up to this carburetor. So it's just not worry about that. It is a choke carburetor, so it should have a little bit more linkages, but we should be able to do it. So let's take the center part and let's get to this. Guys, if you're going to be using a power tool like I am using my Mini Bauer Impact brushless, then just make sure you be careful or you'll hurt your wrist, alright? You have these two 10 millimeter bolts here. They're long studded bolts, so be careful. Don't lose any gaskets. Here we go. Pop those off. Perfect. Perfect. Here we go. Let's pull it out. Very hard. Hmm. Yep. This is how a top engine is. So the valves on this thing are going up and down on the top. So it's kind of be careful with it. All right. Lift. Jiggle around a lot. Lift. Yep. You saw the air filter base just popped loose. Now we're gonna go and get a screwdriver. That head screwdriver. It's small. This one's just a. This one's just from Dollar Tree, because it's small. You get really cheap, tiny screwdrivers there. If I want to get a good quality screwdriver, I'd go to Harbor Freight or Home Depot. Northern Tool is my favorite for screwdrivers. Pretty expensive, but you know they're high quality. There we go. Let's just pull off that breather hose. There we go. Once you get that off, get off this whole base. Take that off. Now, here's your carburetor right here. I guess the engine all weird with a bunch of gaskets. You're going to want to just pop off all these linkages. Let me do this. A, this is your carburetor right here inside. That's your carburetor. There you go. That's your carburetor right there. So, we got to somehow get that carburetor out of this. See, this is your carburetor right here. It's going to try to jiggle it. Maybe get it off. I don't know. The gaskets are looking kind of stuck. Can't do a quickie on a Honda. It's too high quality and well made well and crap so you don't want to do any quick and easy and look at that, it does have a little mini fuel pump ain't that special every fuel pump is nice to have on an engine always see that's the fuel pump right there let's see here let's just pop this thing off get off all our linkages Pull, pop off that linkage, this little linkage right there, there we go, pull and pop off that little linkage, there we go, just pop off that linkage, and now we gotta get off this fuel line, nice pair of needle nose vice grips, just gonna take them and twist off the fuel line, then we can get all this crap out of here, there we go. Let's get down this little tiny metal clip 
the Honda puts on here, they make them crappy because then you can easily replace them if they break. Which, that's a win for Honda. All Hondas do that, and that's just to help out the customer. They're doing what's better for the customer here. Which is what every me and everybody else, I'm sure, likes to see. They're, you're getting a better machine for your money. Alrighty, here you go. Slide off our carburetor. There we go. Slide it right off. Alrighty, let's roll her away. Put her over by the garage door. There we go. Put her off. Alright, let's put that over there by the air filter base. Blow off our area. Right there. Blow everything off. All right, let's clean this carburetor. Let's do this. There's our carburetor. Bring it over off the table. There it is. We gotta take off this this little bolt right here. That's your bolt for the carburetor. We're gonna have to take that bolt off. That's what lets you get into the carburetor. You're going to have to hold it down with your hands, take out the drain bolt, just like that. There's your drain bolt, set it aside, be careful. Some crap might come out. Oh, that's pretty clean. There's our bowl. Pretty clean. Set it aside with our drain bowl. Gasoline smells kind of very old. Our jet is plugged up a little bit, but I wouldn't really worry about it very much. Little shot of car cleaner, and it should be... Brand new. Hondas don't really have that many issues like that very much. That's why I always buy the Hondas. But, yeah, that's about probably it for that. Alright, well, let's clean this carburetor. So first, all I'm going to do, you get that final screwdriver from last time. The ones from Dollar Tree have the perfect size. I'm going to stick it in the middle of this. It's where your main jet is. And just twist it, loosen it off. There it is. I'm just going to twist it, loosen it out. There we go. Take it on out. You can see the main jet right there at the very top. See the main jet? You kind of see a little bit of it with the glare. Just trying to twist it out. Pain sometimes. Sometimes they're hard to get out. So now you can definitely see the main jet. It's a brass main jet. You can replace them, but that's just dumb if you didn't replace it because it's, it's like... 10 bucks when you could just clean it and it's extremely easy to clean. Poke a wire through it and you're done. Save 10 bucks. <laughs> I don't understand why I think everybody decides to dang replace them. That's just wrong. Alright, there's our jet. Just popped out. See? If you look through it, it is clear, just not as much clear. See, it's clogged. It's clogged. All right, let's go get a piece of wire. All right, I figured out I'm not going to use a pair of wire. I'm just going to use air hose. All right, let's just blow it out. Oh, yeah, she's a lot more clear now. Woo! You might actually be able to see a hole through it. See through it now? Should be able to. Yeah. Yep. Yep. See, you can see through it. Other time, you couldn't see what the heck was coming out of it. Next, there's something in there called an emulsion tube. You're just going to blow that through. You're just going to blow through that. I'm going to stick that emulsion tube back up into the carburetor. This. It's right in there. Jiggle it around a little bit. Make sure it's in there well. Have your brass jet. Make sure you don't lose this little tiny thing. Stick it back in nice and softly so you don't bruise any threads. It's very easy to re-thread. It's just 
It's a very big pain to get back in there. So what's it in? Don't go too fast. Or you might have a little issue with being getting stuck. Come on, please subscribe, guys. If you can. If you're new, I'm Jaden. Jaden Small Engine Repair. I use small engine repairs on probably anything. If you look on my channel, you'll probably find your piece of equipment. And you'll be able to fix it. Guys, please go subscribe. Trying to get to 1,500 subscribers. Let's hit 1,000. That was our goal. Thanks, guys, for 1,000 subscribers. Really nice for all you guys subscribing. I'll keep your content rolling so then you guys don't run out of content for me to post. Got my carburetor. Just going to screw that jet back in. Oh, it's tight down. All right. Tighten down. Let's get our bowl back on and start putting her back together. Oop. Dropped our needle. It's easy. Just stick that back in. Stick that back into the dang winch area. There it is. All right, let's put our bowl back on. Bowl's pretty clean. I'll just give it a little bit of spray. There we go. Pop our bowl back on. There we go. Put our bowl bolt back in. Screw that down a little bit. For impact here. Woo. Woo. Let's put it on the ground. All right, one, two clicks is enough. All right, let's go put the thing back on the machine. Got our power washer back here. Reassemble this thing. All right. Remember this. Let's put our spring. Oh, and good. Put that back in. There we go. Put our spring back in. Oops. Just dropped our spring out. Oh, dropped it again. Not very good with springs. Just guys, I hate springs. I dread them. They're bad. Comment down below, guys, in the comment section if you guys hate springs. Especially in the Honda dang recoils, my god. So dang hard to deal with, you, you can't even barely get anything on them. If you dang get a Honda recoil, you'll know. Everybody that owns a Honda recoil, tell me and say, yep, it's true, because I know it's true. You guys need to tell me because it's just, it's just wrong. Alright, set that back down in there. We're going to attach our linkage here. Just put that back in. There we go. Perfect. Twist her back around. Oh, shouldn't have did that. Now I'm having issues getting her back in. Just like that. Perfect. 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 Lift her up. Perfect. Let's pop on our fuel line. It's like nothing ever happened. Let's put it back. There we go. Okay, just drop the spring. These are real things that'll probably happen when you're working on this. This will be it for this video. Thanks, guys. Bye.